Welcome to Grow and Give, a modern victory garden project from Colorado State University Extension. We're here to help you learn to grow food for yourself, your family, your neighbors, and your community. Share the harvest. Keep it local. Insect pests of vegetables. European earwigs. European earwigs have become huge problems in a lot of vegetable gardens. They're the bug that doesn't have very big wings, but they do have these pinchers on the back that you can see here. Those pinchers are not used in order to defend themselves or to attack. Rather, those are used in their courtship rituals when they're mating. Earwigs are omnivores. They eat a lot of different things. And what they really like are soft plant tissues. When they get hungry, they start attacking leaves of plants, especially the softer leaves like you see here, and they will eat it down, skeletonizing it and leaving the plant decimated by their feeding. Some of the plants that they particularly like are those squashes, basil plants. They like beans, they like many different types of plants because they are omnivores. We'll find them in things like ears of corn or in flowers because they have a penchant for tight places. They overwinter as adults and then have their first clutch of eggs in April. Those eggs hatch and then there is a smaller hatch of eggs in late May. So there are two generations of earwigs per year. Earwigs don't get a lot of respect. They're the target of a lot of myths. They're also blamed for a lot of damage that they didn't cause. This is because they have a penchant for tight, dark places. They're thigmotactic. In other words, when they hide during the daytime, they want to be snugged into something so that something is touching them entirely around their bodies. This is why we find them down in the ears of corn or tucked under the bark of a tree. They tuck themselves in there in the daytime and they get blamed for a lot of things that maybe they didn't do. They can also be beneficial bugs because they're omnivores, they do eat other insects, but that doesn't make up for the amount of damage that they do to a lot of our garden plants. How can we control earwigs? We're gonna use their behavior against them. A rolled up newspaper that's been slightly moistened is a fantastic trap to put out because they'll tuck themselves into that roll of newspaper or corrugated cardboard during the daytime. You simply put it out in the evening and in the morning, pick it up and throw it away. You don't wanna open it up because those earwigs are in there. So have a plan for getting rid of that particular trap on a daily basis. You could till your garden thoroughly in spring to bring those insects up and expose them to birds. If you're going to use the newspaper trap, you could bait it with a bran mixed with oily peanut butter. There's another type of trap that you could also try, which is to take a small margarine or plastic container and have uh, about a quarter of a cup of some kind of vegetable oil in it, and then put one tablespoon of soy sauce in this. It acts like a slug trap, one that we bait with beer. In this case, it's oil with soy sauce and the earwigs love it and they climb in and they can't climb out and they drown. But be aware if you're going to try this particular type of a control that raccoons find it attractive also so you can only use it for a couple of evenings in a row. Learn more, grow more. Contact your local CSU Extension office.